everyone, welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. So welcome, welcome if you're new to my channel. And uh, for the um, regulars, how, how are you all? Did you get over your Christmas um, jollies? And they're all good and well and I, I really do hope so. <laughs> So now you sort of over the Christmas um, crazy craziness of Christmas, the buying gifts, the eating, the um, drinking, and now we're heading for the New Year celebration. So you've got to do it all over again, except there's not gifts involved. So that's a kind of a blessing. Okie doke, here we go. I'm going to get right into it. I'm using up a canvas that was previously used. It was washed off and dried and I'm going to reuse it. Split cups, one with one, two, three, four, five chambers and one with four. I'm going to do, I might do them separate, I'm not sure, or I might do kissing split cups, but it was the um, global paints that I'd mixed up a few days ago. I'm still working with the same big batch. I made up a batch of paints. I've been painted with them every day. Pouring medium is in the drop down box underneath this video and I will mention the colours as I pour them into the cups. So, 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 I'm going to start off with the delicious turquoise in the um, split cup. So I might start in the centre. There. So these split cups are available from a few people online. Um, they have an Australian supplier, but I, I've been having reports that, um, you know, he has trouble keeping up with the demand, but uh, there are others. And then in America, there's um, ooh, another one, which I will try to remember to add the link. So there are a few split cup makers now popping up, but basically anybody that has a um, 3D printer, yes, 3D printer, is making these split cups. So, so that was a grey that I made up myself out of white, just a dab of black and a little tiny dab of a navy blue. So the thing with these split cups, whoever you buy them from, is you make sure that you, as soon as you've used them, you get them and soak them so um, the paint, paint doesn't get to dry inside um, and you soak them in cold water, get them cleaned up, you know, pretty much pretty quickly. It just stops the paint from drying in them. Um, yeah, and you, obviously they don't get put in a dishwasher. Uh, uh, that was the phalo blue. Oh, I might add a bit of that phalo blue to it. I've only got half a container of red in there, so I might add the blue to it. I'm hopefully going to use up these colours today. Okay, I've got the colours that I love in there. I think I'm going to put some gold in here. We had a very quiet Christmas. We went and spent uh, Christmas morning with our son and his partner Karina and of course our gorgeous little newborn granddaughter Penelope, Penny for short. And Karina's got a lovely uh, close-knit family, so it was a joy to spend Christmas with them this year. So very happy about that. But other than that, we had a really quiet one. So Boxing Day is very quiet on our own. And then today we've been out on the river and watching sailboats in the Noosa River. So that was nice. So, all good fun. Thinking that I should do even a more cut, but never mind. 
I may very well just go round my edges with this turquoise because I have plenty of it so it will allow me to uh, stretch this paint from the uh, split cups out <clears throat> I have had a bit of a sore throat for a few days so hence that I didn't really want to talk much in my, my other two videos this week <laughs> but it's just a bit of a sore throat nothing seems to have come of it no cold or anything uh, get those I suppose I will go finish off my edges when I tilt around so it's just sort of putting that some paint in the far edges just because I have it here to do that with Oh, that colour is lovely. That's so lovely. That, yeah, it was... It's, oh no, it's the turquoise. Hokey doke. Shall I? Or shante? No, I don't think I'll do kissing cups. I will just see what I get from pouring two separate cups. So these split cups are a lot of fun and they definitely create a lot of interest on canvas. Gonna go out there. Those colours are very shimmery, shimmery, shimmery. Okie doke, we'll do this one over here. Ooh. You can just pour straight from the cup or you can give it a little bit of a jangle, a jiggle, or you can give it a swirl. You can do whatever you choose. They are really nice when you put them on a um, turntable too and you're turning them in between. So I'm going to just turn my wrist instead. Yeah, they do give some lovely effect. So if you haven't tried your split cups, give them a go. Ooh. I'm getting a bit okay I'm going to put this straight in my bowl of cold water about that I needed to do that because it's hard to get the paint out of those little cracks and crevices if you don't I would have liked some white through there but I didn't put it there silly jilly I have got some of this what is this called ultraviolet and I think I'll put some white in it to take it down a tone or two I'm going to really mix it up here Trousers, trousers. Just move everything out of the way so I don't knock it when I'm tilting around. So it's just a nice gentle tilt so you get it all over your canvas and you just watch the the effects basically appear before your very eyes. Ooh, love that red with the turquoise. It isn't red and turquoise, it's just Beautiful. The 
dark blue with turquoise and red very nice too all colors that go beautifully look at that yeah oh, wow 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 let's come down here not really liking this gray that i've put in there it doesn't really make anything pop that particular one so that wasn't a really good choice there but i'm gonna run most of it off down that end now there isn't any um silicone in these colors it is all um flow troll that's make gonna if any cells pop up it's because of flow troll and i am definitely gonna do a few aussie card slides through this because it gives the most awesome um 3d effects through this kind of look i'll come back down here again loving that red and the gold and turquoise that is beautiful again i'm going to run off this gray because it's not very attractive in this so just keep working it until you've got the colors where you want them and don't lose the bits try not to lose the bits that you do want but I think that's pretty awesome let's get this red coming back in a bit more I really like that red and gold that's beautiful it does look a bit Christmassy I suppose but not that not the look that I'm after Christmassy because that's over and done with now okay that's pretty nice I like it I might try and run down over this plain turquoise here even out your paint dis distribution on your can uh, on your canvas so you haven't got your paint sitting either all in the middle or all at one end so take that red down hopefully over here a bit and then tilt it back again so I retain oh yeah that's beauty that is a beauty wow that's gorgeous that is lovely that is lovely lovely as it is it really <laughs> but i have plans for it i have plans so 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 there you go that is very nice as it is if you're happy with it to this point with your if you're doing this pour because it's very it is very nice but i want to add some of the aussie slide so the aussie slide is just amsterdam paint mixed with just flow troll only and then used as, as a swipe so i have two colors there but i believe that the i have a yellow mix but i think that'll be too um no, that's not going to work. Yellow is going to probably look too... We'll try it, but I think the yellow will look uh, just disappear in it. But just for the sake of the video, we'll give it a try. Give it a little try. So it's just grabbing a card, dipping it in the paint that I've only mixed with Floetrol. And then I want to do some slides through it. So that's your Aussie card slide. It's just because it's Aussie flow troll that I'll name it that. I am told that it does work with the American flow troll. So there you go. So you can definitely do these card slides with your American flow troll from what I'm told. I haven't tried it myself because I haven't got American flow troll. But it just adds like a 3D look 
through your work and it brings out any colours that are hidden there underneath. Oh, that's nice. That's my dog playing up my, barking at my female. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Okay, I will do a few in this yellow and then I want to swap over to the black. card is going a bit limp. Wowzers, trousers. Oh, those just give it such depth. It just, yeah, I'm not sure if you're capturing this on the camera, but I'll bring the camera down. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the black, so oh, I've had this card. I'm not sure whether this is going to work. I might have to try. This is a floppy card. This is the soft plastic file divider. Oh, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? I think I might have to try something that's got a little bit more. Um, uh, where's my card? Come on. Going crazy. I can't find my bits of card. Might have to cut some more up. Um, no, that's not going to work, is it? Because that's too big. Okay, I've got another little bit here. Let's try this through this bit. Oh, yeah. It just adds so much like a 3D effect. It's like um, reeds or something. It's reminding me, you know, in the ocean and the reeds that are moving with the uh, tide or... Yeah, the black really stands out. I, I would normally not use the black. I've used navy, just so it's not that but that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous give this a try people it's so much fun and it's so relaxing now i love this end of it and i don't love this end of it so um yeah i could scrape this whole end off if i choose to do but um, I kind of wish I'd done it all in that colour now because that looks absolutely stunning. Well, there you go. I think that is enough because I can really get carried away with these because I just love the effect that it brings up. Wow. All right. Slap my hands, slap my hands because I won't stop. Okay, that's 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 pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I will bring the camera down for you to have a good look at this because it is so 3D as though you're looking through those reeds. Wow, 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 here you go. Look at this, it is so shimmery when you get down. Because that's with the metallic gold in it, it had some metallic copper. Oh, I haven't added any heat to this. I might like zoom over it with the uh, little heat wand. I use a heat wand and not a butane torch, so much less dangerous. The black has got that shimmer through it because it's picking up the metallics underneath. So. Look at the blue when I well that's actually swiping with the yellow that's caused that gorgeousness. And look at the shimmer through the black again. It, it just is some spectacular effects. And when you've let it dry and you have put resin over this or you gloss coat in all of those really stand up and your lines in the um the multi cup. But yeah, that's pretty special. I'm really, really happy with that. Hope you like it too. Bring it out. There you go. 
So definitely could do an underwater scene, you know, with a lot more thought of the colours placed. I could definitely do that. So I might try that sometime in the future. So for now, thank you guys for joining me so much. I'll be here again tomorrow. Um, stay safe, people. Create. If you're feeling lonely, sad, or please get on the phone to someone. There is always someone there that's willing to have a chat. And, um, yeah, nobody need be lonely now. There are definitely uh, lots of online helplines for us all. So until tomorrow, my friends, I will see you then. So bye for now.